This one stop is the price of a four-room flat. If you think I'm kidding, let's go and check it out. I'm going to head over to finviz.com. I'm going to pull out the stock screener and under price, I'm going to arrange it according to most expensive to cheapest. And ta-da! Here immediately you can see that there is a stock that is over $400,000. The question to ask is not why is it expensive, but which company does this belong to? And just by looking at the name of the company, you can guess something funny is happening here. This share price is the stock for Berkshire Hathaway, the company that was bought over by the renowned investor Warren Buffett. History goes that he found Berkshire Hathaway to be a cash-generating machine. Using this cash, he bought stakes in other companies and slowly transformed Berkshire Hathaway from a mill-producing cloth company to a holding company producing cash. The reason why the share price is so high is that he famously decided to never split the shares for the A-class shares. So stock splits occur when the management decides to cut a share into many pieces, making each share cheaper. So, one day, a company may have 1 million shares, each worth $1. After the stock split, it can have 2 million shares, each worth 50 cents. The intention of the stock split is to make the stock price lower and allow more people to jump into buying the stock. I think he really just wanted to see how high the stock price can go. But he luckily did create a B-class share that is way cheaper, allowing mere retail investors like us to invest in his company. Does a high share price automatically convert into owning a good stock? Not necessarily. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. Warren is famous for saying that. What he is trying to say is that when you buy a share, you actually own a piece of that company. And you should ask yourself if that piece is valuable or not. In Berkshire's case, it's good to know that this company is valuable. It has seen a compounded rate of return of 20% per year. So, if you had started with $10,000 with Berkshire in 1990, by 2021, 30 years, my investment would be $2.4 million. Why didn't I invest in Berkshire when I was 5 years old? In conclusion, the most expensive stock in terms of price is $400,000. Usually, the stock price has nothing to do with value directly, but what matters is the company that you are buying in. In Berkshire Hathaway's case, with a growth rate of $20,000 compounded, $400,000 is worth every single dollar. <laughs>